Welcome to Code Shake. Our first program is to find the reverse of a number. Let us take the number as 1, 2, 3, 4. So the logic behind the reverse of a number is we take the last digit, multiply it with 10 and then add the next digit from the right that is 3. So the number now becomes 43. Then again multiply it with 10 and add the next digit from the right that is 2. So now the number becomes 432. Then again multiply it with 10 and add the next digit from the right that is 1. So now the number becomes 4321. We shall store the last digit in D, the reverse logic in a variable called R which will finally give the result value and we shall shorten the value of n by removing the last digit consecutively. We shall initialize the value of d and r to be 0. In our first step, we shall take the last digit by doing n mod 4 and store it in d and r will be r into 10 plus 4 which is 4 and n will be shortened by n divided by 10. So n becomes 123. Then in our second step, we take the last digit d. Now r becomes r into 10 plus 3 which is 43 and n becomes 12. Then we again take the last digit by doing n mod 10 and r becomes r into 10 plus 2 which is 432 and n becomes 1 by doing n by 10. Then in the last step, we take the last digit by doing n mod 10 which is 1 and r becomes r which is 432 into 10 plus 1. It becomes 4321 and n becomes n by 10 which is 0. As we know that integer doesn't store fractional parts. So only the integral part remains. So we can put d, r and n in a while loop which will run repeatedly until the value of n becomes 0. So the condition of while loop will be n is greater than 0 d will be equal to n mod 10, n will be equal to n by 10 and r will be equal to r into 10 plus d. So we can write as, finally we will print the value of r. Save and run. Now the reverse of the number has been printed. Our second program is to find whether a given number is palindrome or not. Palindrome number is a number which remains the same if the digits are reversed. So r will give the reverse of n. So we need to check if the value of r is equal to n. But here the value of n finally becomes 0. So we need to save the value of n in another variable so that we can compare the value of r with the value of n. So let's store the value of n in another variable called x. Here in line number 8, we store the value of n in x. Now even if we change or alter the value of n, the value of x will not be altered. Our final step is to check if the value of x is equals to the reverse of the number which is r. So if x is equals to r then the given number is a palindrome number else it is not a palindrome number. We save it and run. So we can clearly see that the number n is not equal to the reverse of that number. Now if we change the value of n to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1 save and run. So our output shows that the given number is a palindrome. If we reverse the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1, it will give the same number. That concludes our video. If you have liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.